Hello friends, this is Abhishek. Welcome back to the one more video tutorial of AngularJS. Today, we are going to see how we can control particular part of a HTML page. Okay, in AngularJS language, it's called controller, right? So, uh, if you have watched my earlier videos, we have a project set up uh, inside of Visual Studio, uh, in which we have loaded a uh, AngularJS uh, reference inside our single page applications and uh, noted down the ng app. What is in ng app attribute, or we can say it's a directive. Okay. Uh, what is ng app? It's a uh, in HTML language. It's called attribute. Okay, but in AngularJS, it's a more than attribute, right? Uh, it's a particular ng. What is ng stands for? It's Angular. Okay, uh, Angular application. Now this is the whole application. Now we are going to see the controllers. How we can create a controllers inside uh, AngularJS application? Okay, but first of all, the person should know what is controller and why we need to create it, right? So. Uh, what is controller okay as the name suggests it's control something okay now what what will be it controls now uh, suppose let's uh, take an example okay so suppose I have a dev over here uh, I'll say it's a ID with a it's a standard way to explain okay it's s1 okay and uh, one more div it's called s2 okay now these are the two different divs okay and uh, suppose I'm going to design a single page application okay that means everything is on single page whether it's a registration it's a login it's a home page it's a etc okay it is a XYZ whatever okay it's only single page application but now most of days uh, if we want to design uh, cross-platform applications then uh, the first choice will be single page application SPA right so suppose this is my login section and this is my registration section right this is the two different pages now uh, inside a coding language AngularJS there is called controller okay it will help you to control this much section via particular controller okay that means we have a two divs or we can say the two different page so we can create a two different controllers okay by creating the two different controllers it will help developers to understand the particular section of the code okay if there is uh, after designing these two pages if uh, someone tells you that your uh, login logic is not working properly so what will you do you will just check the first controller of this much div okay and someone tells the register I'm not getting registered in your web apps or mobile applications then you'll just take a look inside a control number two right this is this is the basic working area of controller okay which controls something something inside your application so this is our application as if you don't know how to configure the AngularJS inside a HTML page, just watch my earlier video tutorials, right? So here, what we are going to do, we are going to use our first controller, or we are going to create our first controller. Just open dot app. Okay, here we have registered the AngularJS as an app. So I'll store the whole application inside app variable. Okay, and now we will start to create a controller so here I'm gonna create a first controller uh, the controller name will be controller 1 the callback function for that okay and uh, through our application I'm gonna add uh, what okay let's add a controller name okay uh, we are going to display uh, the name of the controller inside a div right by using the expressions angular.js expressions right so I'll add this dot 
controller name equals login page controller okay now how we can access this controller name value inside a div one it's a very simple okay see ng controller what is the controller name it's a uh, controller one as cont1 what is as I don't understand controller one as cont1 okay this is our controller name which we have defined inside our application JS file and we are creating an instance of controller one as simple as that right and now just we have seen in the first video tutorial type cont sorry cont one dot first name sorry it's not first name it's a controller name so just copy this okay now let's test login page controller what we are doing it's a very simple stuff guys okay we have designed a controller that means control area for this much div now whatever you are going to do inside a s1 div okay you can write your logic inside this controller okay and now how we can create a multiple controllers it's a very simple just again write app dot controller write your controller name controller 2 the callback function and your variables this dot uh, here we're gonna say let's let's type again con c o n t r o l l e r controller name R E G I S T R E T I N registration page. Now, tell me what will happen. We have a two controller with the same variables. Okay, we have a controller name in controller one and we have a controller name in controller two. Is it gonna work properly? Let's taste. Okay, again, I think some uh, you got the idea whether it's uh, work it's uh, going to work or not controller 2 as cont2 expression cont2 dot controller name right guys it's always gonna work why because the controller name uh, the scope of this variable is only for the controller 2 and the scope of this controller variable only for the controller one and here if you notice we are creating an instance of a specific controller that means there is no any kind of ambiguity over there right I th I think you guys have understood what is the SPA single page application and what is controller inside uh, the angular JS applications how we can create it how we can create a multiple controllers okay how we can divide our application into the multiple multiple sections okay to manage the codab uh, codeability code readability and other stuffs right so uh, again thank you for watching this video tutorial if you want to uh, watch my next video tutorial so you have to do you have to subscribe my channel only you can then only you can get uh, the notification whenever i upload the new video tutorial for the angular js till then this is abhishek signing off bye bye